Another step has been taken in the $3.5 million redevelopment of the Satago Museum attraction. Staff are excited to have just appointed New Zealand-based company Story Inc. to help handle the project. We invited um, some really good companies from all over New Zealand that, and actually the world to pitch for the job of helping us redevelop Discovery World. Um, and in the end about 10 companies pitched. Uh, we went through a process, considered all of the different pitches and how they matched our expectations. And at the end of a fairly intense process, Story Inc. came out as the winner. Dr Griffin says staff recently travelled overseas to get inspiration from a range of museums. He wants the redeveloped Discovery World to promote science to a new generation of locals. And staff feel the newly appointed company brings a lot to the table. They've got huge experience and skills. They've done a number of redevelopments inside New Zealand and elsewhere. Um, they've got a lovely approach to storytelling as well. And uh, one of the innovative approaches of the new version of Discovery World will be we'll, we're going to try and tell the story of science um, to people who come through the door. Dr Griffin says everything will be taken out of Discovery World. The physical space will be expanded by about 50% and it may house a planetarium if the necessary funds can be found. A planetarium would cost about a million dollars and staff are approaching various trusts and companies to get that money. It's hoped things will be set in stone closer to the end of the year. Well we're starting to do the planning now um, and that's the appointment of Story Inc and hopefully we'll get some decent concept designs out of that in the next few months. Um, we really hope to start construction by the middle of 2015 with the new facility opening either late 2015, early 2016. In the meantime, details are being finalised. And whatever shape the new Discovery World takes, it's said to be an educational and enterprising space for visitors young and old alike. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.